what an exciting topic this is let's talk about creating full drivable car in unreal engine 5 this might look pretty difficult because you will be thinking about oh you have to create a car and wheels and all those things and controlling it no it is not that difficult it is very simple even you can make it in five minutes just by following five simple steps because unreal engine have a plugin called the kiosk vehicles and using this plugin will make it pretty simple let's talk about it how you can do this first let's download some cars from the unreal engine marketplace uh, where you can find a lot of free assets including these vehicles which are permanently free so let's download it and then after downloading and adding it to the unreal engine now wow you have the free cars in unreal engine 5 and you can use them so the first step is to check its physics if it is working properly or not you can set up uh, these physics as you want because sometimes these physics can make problem for you or you can use the default settings for the physics like that and then let's create a blueprint class called weld vehicles but you will not be able to find this because um, it's not added by default i told you there is a plugin and let's enable the plugin and that's called kiosk vehicles by enabling this plugin you have to restart the unreal engine and then you will be back now if you try creating this blueprint class you would be able to do so because now you have the plugin now let's open the class and in that class you have a mesh which is for the car so you can use that mesh for car and you have a component uh, that is for setting up some mechanics and wheels and all those stuff so the first thing we want to set up wheels we have four wheels in this car and you can set up it pretty simple just go to the wheel setup and now you can find these wheels just add some wheels like four wheels we need you might have more wheels like six wheeled car eight wheeled car or even two wheeled car like motorcycle or bicycle so you can create them as well pretty simple now you can see we have these four wheels two for front and two for rear so let's set up their classes as well so you can create the classes and just open the class and set up some settings that they need like you can see right here we have some set up some settings that I'll set up and you can just copy these uh, settings or you can set up these settings on yourself which is pretty simple you can see we have these front wheels and then you can measure the wheels properly so that you have the correct values for these uh, uh, wheels and then you can set up another class for rare wheels and just to change some settings like you can see we have to change the axle type to rare and then we have some values that we have to change and this is controlled by engine but not affected by steering so you have to be careful with these things now let's set up the classes and we're done with the wheels Wow, that's that was pretty simple now the next step is creating torque curve which is pretty important and pretty simple let's do it so the first thing you have to come here you can see this is mechanics setup and in there you can just find the torque curve and then create new class for that and just open the torque curve class you can set up some values for that or you can copy my values as you can see right here the final result looks like this now just go and set up the torque curve and change some values right here that should work with the cars we have downloaded well wow, that now the torque curve is set up and the next step is about adding camera and spring arm component oh well if you don't know about camera and spring arm components don't worry let's talk about it camera is just a camera that you want to add to every character pawn or things that you want to control in Unreal engine 5 and you have to have a view from that like from which angle you want to view your character that's it that is exactly the camera and you have to add the camera but for controlling camera correctly we have a spring arm component in Unreal engine blueprint classes that you can easily add it from the component so remember the spring arm component should be attached to the mesh and the camera should be attached to the spring arm component and that way it will work perfect now let's do that and by adding this now we have everything set up the next thing is let's control the car we don't have any controllers for that we don't have like input things so let's go to the settings and go to the input mapping but remember this is deprecated in Android engine 5 for like new versions and you cannot use it anymore uh, you have to use the enhanced input but i'm not going to talk about that in this lecture or in this video if you want to know about that just uh, let me know in the comment section below and i will make another video about that so it's pretty simple you have to go to the um, input mapping and add some axis maps and action mapping like this and that way you can use them so now let's do that functionality you have to come to the car blueprint class and there you have you can use these functions for that from the vehicle component and that's pretty simple for throttle you can use the throttle for steering you can use the st steering function 
for break you can use the break and for handbrake you can use the handbrake function that's it that way you can set up the functionality and now the car is ready to move let's go and add the blueprint class to the map and then let's possess it and play the game wow there you go you can run the car around but remember it's not like the wheels are not moving it's it doesn't look like the car is moving it's a static car and we just move it around well this is not a movable or a drivable car and uh, it doesn't look good now let's set up this problem let's fix this problem so for fixing this problem it is pretty simple you can go and create a blueprint class and pretty simple you can see right here and change the parent class to the vehicle animation instance and that way it will have the functionality for vehicles and then you can use these two simple nodes which is called mesh space reference and another one is well controller and that's it you should set up your animation blueprint like this nothing else that's it now let's go to the blueprint class of the car and then you can change the animation blueprint and set up the new animation blueprint we have created that way it will work perfectly fine let's check it out and see how it works wow congratulations just in five minutes you created a car a full drivel car that's not simple but now it is simple with unreal engine kiosk vehicles plugin so that's all about this video i hope you learned something about uh, vehicles and creating vehicles in unreal engine 5 if you want to know more about this stuff about blueprints uh, or if you want to master the blueprint scripting in unreal engine 5 and create a game similar to gta 5 you can follow the course i've created you can find the link in the description below please like the video and write something in the comment i'd like to read. peace